And what's up, Royal Family? Welcome back to the Keys to the Kingdom, where we drop all the keys to the kingdom. Dr. G is in the building, but y'all already knew that. Okay, listen, baby, if this is your first time here, hit that subscribe button. Join us. We are kings and queens, actively living out our purposes, full of positive vibes, changing lives, and loving on the Lord, right? This is the place to be. You do not want to miss the messages that come through on my channel. Shout out to my faithful family. Yeah always in a building holding it down in the comments i love you so very much i'm truly blessed and grateful to share this journey with you all listen baby like comment and subscribe okay you want to comment especially if this is your first time tuning in let us know where you're tuning in from so we can welcome you in the building okay this is our virtual building but still nonetheless you're welcomed all right hallelujah hallelujah let's get into this message it is your royal declarations for the week okay my loves my faithful family know that we have been doing this. It is a way to, for me personally, it was a way that the Lord actually renewed my mind, right? In my intimate time with him, he was having me read scripture, but in a sense, he was telling me like, what am I saying to you? What are you pulling from this? And so I would pull his messages, right? That he had to say to me from scripture and it renewed my spirit. It changed my heart. It helped me to love better. It helped me to think greater, you know, and it just really helped me to align my actions, my thoughts, my emotions with the will that the Lord had for my life. Okay. And so I pray that these do the same for you. Once you meditate on them all week, okay. And you recite them, they legit will take you about no more than 15 minutes. You can state it in the morning to yourself or right before you go to sleep. Okay, some of y'all might need it in the middle of the day when these people getting up on your nerves. Okay, I, whenever you feel that that you need them, baby, just refer back to them. I used to have them hanging up in my bedroom, so I'll either put it on the wall or I'll put it in the mirror, on the mirror, excuse me, and. Even if I wasn't saying them out loud to myself, loves just by walking past them, I would look at it, I would glance glance at it, I would read them, and it would just do something to my soul, okay? It, I'm telling you, these work, all right? Hallelujah. And the best part is they're all based on scripture, so don't worry about it. And I'm going to start including the scriptures below because I know some people were asking or some people were even trying to guess <laughs> where they came from, so I will start including the scriptures you can find that actually in my description box below okay under this video so let's get into them are y'all ready this one baby whoo it touched my little soul again when i was reading them over i was like lord you are wanted to cry okay so here we go whoo Lord, I thank you for helping me to forgive myself for the mistakes that I made while learning. My shameful mistakes used to torment me day and night, but you have come to set me free. I repent for my words, thoughts, emotions, and deeds that were not in alignment with your perfect will and way for my life. I thank you, Lord, for purifying me. I thank you for instructing me on the ways that I can make my actions be more honorable in your sight. I thank you for creating in me a clean heart. I thank you for renewing the right spirit within me. I have joy in my soul because in spite of my rebellion, Heavenly Father, you have still forgiven me. I no longer live in shame, guilt, secrecy, or misery. You have cleared my record of sin. I thank you, Father, for throwing my iniquities into the sea of forgetfulness. I am blessed to serve a God who is so strong and merciful. Not only have you forgiven me, you have also chosen not to store my ways of error in your memory. Your unfailing love and great compassion has preserved me. Lord, I know that your word states that I must forgive so that I may be forgiven. Therefore, I generously extend the same grace that was given to me and forgive those who have sinned against me, even if I never receive an apology. That part. Okay. Maybe catch it. I thank you, Heavenly Father, for loving me unconditionally. Your gentle correction, discipline, and wisdom has shown me the definition of agape love. I am now aware that true love keeps no records of wrongdoings. Again, I reiterate how thankful I am that you have helped me forgive myself for the mistakes that I have made while learning. Baby! That's that on that, okay? Receive that, my loves. Listen, this 
This week's declarations are going to be for those who have been struggling with forgiving yourself, okay? So you are seeking the Lord for forgiveness. This is something that you have been praying about. You may feel that you've just made too much mistakes, that they're unforgivable, that there's no coming back, right? Or you keep sinning and you just don't know how to stop, right? You feel like it's out of your control, my loves. No, okay? You have power, you have control, you have authority over your sin, okay? Jesus Christ died for your sins, okay? And he is using, right? This is kind of like when I was reading it over just now, it's like a love letter between you and God. This is what he feels about you. This is what he thinks about you, okay? And so you have to come into agreement with the Lord Lord, all right, with his Holy Spirit that dwells within you and get out of agreement with the, the things of this world and with the devil, okay? Ooh, I'm not here. Baby, I ain't here to preach tonight, okay? But let's focus. What if I told you that when God chose you, your sin, your mistakes was already accounted for? Yeah. That's right. He knows you. He knew exactly, okay, what you would do before you would do it. And so I know some of y'all probably like, okay, Dr. G, but like, why would he let me say and do something stupid then, right? When he could just stop me since he already knew. Great question. <laughs> Very good question. Okay. I probably would have thought the same thing. But listen, my loves, he also trusts you. Your father trusts you, okay? He's legit like, you know, a parent, okay, who wants you to grow and be independent and mature, like a good parent. That's what a good parent will want you to be. All right, let me say that. So a good parent will want you to grow and mature and be independent and be wise, all right? And so God trusts you. He trusts you to be sober-minded. He trusts that you can identify good people, good environments, that you have great discernment and that you can make positive decisions yourself. So no, he doesn't want to hover over you, but he's trusting you, hallelujah, to make good decisions. Okay, my love. So what father would he be if he took away your freedom to make choices? That is why he doesn't stop you, but he gives you everything that you need to know. So he might warn you, okay? He might inform you about the good and the bad, or right? here's the good, here's the evil, right? And then he allows you to be free to go forth to make decisions. And ultimately, my loves, it is up to you. It is up to you to do the right thing, okay? And so in the meantime and in between time, why are you trying to figure it out? Why are you trying to figure out yourself? Why are you trying to learn? Why are you growing? I want you to just embrace the fact that there's grace for your mistakes. There is grace for your mistakes. Type in the comments for me, grace for my mistakes. Grace for my mistakes. Hallelujah. And that's not even really for me. That's for yourself. Remind yourself that there is grace for your mistakes. All right? All right, my loves. And as I promised, I will include the scriptures below. They came from Psalm 32, Psalm 51, Proverbs 28, Matthew chapter 6, Psalm 51. Um, Joel already said Psalm 51. Don't worry about that. Okay. And Micah. Okay. Ooh, ooh. Baby, yes. So I will include that all below. And yes, my loves, be blessed. Do not forget to be a blessing. Your father loves you and you were chosen, okay? And you have already been forgiven. I'll see you on the next video. Later. <laughs>